Hey, it's Christina, and today we're gonna to talk about how to plant a tree. It's essentially the same as planting a shrub, but they tend to be in larger pots. They're a little bit harder to manage, so I wanted to give you a few tips on how to do that and show you what it looks like to get it in the ground. Uh, today, I have a Crusader Hawthorn, a thornless variety, um, one of the beautiful Proven Winners Color Choice trees in our line. So I'm excited to put it in this spot in particular um, because it will stay small enough for people to still be able to get around it, but it will offer a beautiful introduction to people when they first come up the sidewalk. So my materials today are very simple. Um, I like to use gloves. I've got a regular shovel, I've got a kneeler just in case I want to use it. And this is just because I'm picky. I have a wheelbarrow because I like to put my dirt right in there so that it doesn't mix in with the mulch around it. Um, I've already cleared the spot of mulch, so I'm ready to dig the hole. So there's one tip that I like to use when I am digging a hole for a tree in particular, like I said, bigger pot normally. Um, so you'll wanna get to know the exact width of the plant. So you'll just take a little measurement here and you wanna make the hole um, wider than the pot. So you'll just kind of say like, okay, so here's my, my pot width and then you'll bring it out a little bit farther so that you're able to shove the dirt back down into the ground. Um, Cause you don't wanna have too small of a hole. So you're just kind of like wedging the soil back in. You're a lot more likely to end up with air pockets that way. I will dig the hole wider than the pot, but just as deep as the, the soil is in the container. So I'll show you what that looks like when I get a little bit closer to the hole being totally dug. So I've got my hole at a point where it looks like it's probably deep enough um, or it's getting there. So I'm going to check the soil height uh, from the bottom of the container and just see, so it's like right about, right about there. So I'm gonna make sure that the hole is that depth all the way around. I'm gonna use my kneeler just to see across the hole where it comes to. So it probably needs to be a little deeper. So now my hole is dug. It's even all the way around on the bottom. Um, and when I go to pick up the plant to put it in the hole, I'm gonna hold it on the soil surface and tip it over and see if I can kind of like press on the sides a little bit to loosen it up from the, the sides. Taking care not to damage any of my beautiful branches. You might be wondering what the heck all of this stuff is on the top. These are rice holes um, and they are just applied at the nursery. They're totally harmless. They just help prevent weed growth. But if you're putting down mulch, you'll just kind of shake all that off of there and not mix it in with your mulch. And then I'll slowly wiggle the plant out, trying really hard not to focus any of my, like most of my strength on the, um, the main stem itself. Kind of distribute it around the root ball. You'll do the best you can. So now that I've gotten it loosened up a bit, I'm going to just kind of gently guide it into the hole. Um, if you have two people to do the job, that can definitely help with a bigger tree. Um, but sometimes it's not necessary. So the thing about a big tree is that it's been hanging out in its pot for a while. You're gonna wanna make sure that you loosen up those roots with your fingers you don't have to be too rough if there aren't like, if it's not obviously bound up. You just wanna give those roots a little bit of a scratch, a little head scratch, um, help them, help encourage them to grow outward into their new home. And then you'll settle it into the hole. 
I am tickled with this because I don't want this tree to be planted too deeply at all. And I'm gardening on a little bit of a slope, so it's a little trickier sometimes uh, to figure out the exact soil depth, but this looks very good. Now with a shrub, I always recommend taking a little walk around it to make sure that it's really standing upright um, and that you like the positioning that it's in. With a tree, I demand it. <laughs> uh, you have to make sure that your, your tree is standing upright, otherwise the investment um, is not quite as satisfying. You're like, oh, well, I remember when I planted that tree, but it, dang it if it is not crooked. Um, so you'll just essentially take a step around your plant um, from every angle, and then when you see it needs to be adjusted, I already know this needs to be adjusted, you'll shove a little dirt under it to kind of help it lean one way or the other, um, and you'll just do that until you are satisfied. Another great thing to think about at this point, because you can still make so many changes, is to consider which way the main branches are facing, because that's kind of the direction that your plant is going to be growing in. It's got a relatively flat side here, and I would like that for the walkway. So I'm going to spin the plant a little bit um, and position that side that way so that I have more of like that flat branching. And then this side will come out into the lawn and we can just duck if we're mowing the lawn. That looks pretty good. And now I know that it is leaning um, significantly this way. So I'll tuck a little dirt under this side to give it a bit of a boost. Now I'm going to only use the native soil that I just dug out of this hole to replace back into the hole. I do not like to mix anything in with my soil or just even pour fertilizer into the hole at all um, because there's a chance that it'll come in contact with the roots and that um, these roots are really sensitive and they can get burned by fertilizer. So I just like to apply it, if I'm going to apply some, on the soil surface afterward and water that in. So I am now taking a step back. Um, I fixed the obvious problem. Uh, I was leaning very far back that way. Now I'm looking at it and it's oriented very upright from this angle, but it is important to walk all the way around it because while it may look straight from one angle, it might not from another. My plant looks perfect in its hole. Um, and now I'm going to continue to push the soil back in around the roots. I'm gonna be very careful and slow um, and just to make sure I don't get any air pockets. And uh, after I'm done, if I wanted to, I could apply a granular fertilizer. I like those best because they last for a long time and unlike a liquid fertilizer, they're a lot less likely to burn our shrubs and trees. All of the soil is in place and there is a pretty hot debate on whether or not you should apply the mulch before watering or after you water. I personally like to water first while there isn't mulch there just so that I can come back a little while later and I can see if uh, the soil has settled in any way and then I'll be able to put more soil there, water it again, and then I'll layer some more mulch on top. So I've got my hose all ready but I don't know if my friend really wants me to water yet. All right, so now I can start watering. I've got a uh, clay loam uh, soil in my, uh, in my garden. Some areas are a little bit more clay-y, some areas are a little bit more loamy, but um, in general, it takes the water a little bit of time to drain through. I would consider that to be a pretty deep watering. There's no real um, measurement that I can give you necessarily uh, for how much to water a new plant. You just kind of do it and see. A uh, water meter helps a lot with watering. You can just kind of poke it around the outside of the root ball of the plant, kind of see uh, what the meter says and go from there. And so in a little bit, I'll check again. I'll see if there is, are any lower spots of soil. If there are, I'll just put some more soil on top of it. I'll lay my mulch and then I'll water briefly again, just so that mulch isn't pulling uh, water back up from the soil. So that is a pretty quick how-to on how to plant a tree. 
Um, you can usually go a little quicker than I did, uh, but I just wanted to show you exactly what to do so that you have success in your garden. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. Uh, definitely check out our other planting how-tos, our other care how-tos, um, and I'll see you again next time.